Hi guys, Janet, Strange RV Tours. I'm in Seligman, Arizona at the KOA. We've been here for a few nights and I want to show you around. And we had planned on staying just a couple nights, so we stayed extra. So come and join me. Strange RV Tours will take you places. With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Jarvie Tours is on the air. All right, guys, we're at the KOA here. It's 801 East Highway 66 in Seligman, Arizona. And We've enjoyed our stay here. It was really, really windy the first two days. It's really nice today. It got really cold at night. It got down to 32 last night. Now it's beautiful. The first thing when you drive up, you see this duck here. <laughs> this little guy here, all by himself. I'm sure he was like injured or something. And now they're, they saved him or something like that because he d doesn't fly out. And if he wasn't injured, he'd be flying out. But anyway, this is a memorial to Vern Gleach. He was the founder of this place, died in 77. And this established KOA came about in 1972 by Vern. So that's pretty cool. They do have a little gift shop area inside. You can get some sodas, you get free coffee, and um, you know, essentials. A little, like, small amounts of essentials that you might need. But there's a old fashioned playground here. And there's some cornhole right here. Now I've seen some bunny rabbits running around too. And, that, you know, it's pretty cool to watch bunny rabbits. But, uh, Max really enjoys this pet play area. <laughs> and he, he likes how big it is. He goes all the way around there. And there is some horseshoes right over here. And inside they have the bing bags and they have the horseshoes. If you actually want to play the games but the pool <laughs> is being worked on and it has been rather chilly anyway I don't think anybody would be using the pools <laughs> but you can see how they're got it all they're scraping off the some of the finish they're going to redo a, quite a bit of it and they have bathrooms and showers and a laundry. Here. Oh, there. Let's take a look. Isn't that cute? And some showers. Three showers. Yes, in pretty good shape. Nice and clean. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's check out the laundry. a dollar fifty to wash and up to a dollar fifty to dry you know it depends on the machine I think but, okay five washers uh, four dryers two huge ones that's good two small ones and what's pretty neat 
they have another little playground here. It's fenced in. So if you have little ones, real little ones, that's more appropriate. And then I want to take you over here. These cute little cabins. They're so cute. And you know what? People are coming and going all the time. I see people coming and going through these cabins every night. And the spaces be beside us are in and out every night. You know, so they actually have 56 spaces. They have five cabins and they have a teepee. So I want to see the teepee. Now on full hookups, they only have 29 full hookups and 27 with just water and electric, no sewer. But they have a dump anyway. And they do have propane. So, and, and a bunch of tent sites. They have 11 places for tents. And, but this is cool. And they have fire pits and barbecues. Yeah. And I think almost every site. Let me see. I want to see. Let's see. This looks pretty cool. Look. I want to see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. I want to see. <laughs> wow. This is awesome. Yeah. Be fun. Really fun. Wouldn't it? Take your kids for it to stay in a teepee. <laughs> fun. Awesome. So, but see the tent sites? There's a bunch on this side. There's another whole doggy park in the back over there. And there's a bunch on the other side. So, here, I'm gonna I'm a cut across. Let me see. Isn't that cool? Real teepee. <laughs> You know what, though? I was thinking that this place would be full of like those goat head stickers. None. I thought, okay, we're out in Arizona. Nope. None. I'll show you the dog exercise area, too. It's pretty neat. So they're really pet friendly. It's just neat. All right. I don't know if y'all can see this. There's a couple horseback riders out here. Way across. There's one there. One coming up over there. Yeah. How cool. And this is the pet exercise area. That's pretty neat. It's way in the back here. And great. I, I mean... But uh, Max wouldn't do any of this. He'd just pee on the edges, edges of stuff, probably. <laughs> but it's pretty neat they have it here. And it says pet area over there, too. Of course, keep your animals on a leash out of the gates. They got some pine trees there. Planting around the outskirts. And one thing about this place, the train runs through here. So, at, at, all day, all night, if you can't handle the noise of a train, just uh, this wouldn't be for you. But for us, oh, we love it. I, I love the noise. Being truck drivers, we're used to it. It reminds me of my grandma's house 
and Greg said it reminds him of his grandma's house, you know, so it's pretty cool. So, and it actually looks like um, there there is another loop through for Route 66. It kind of splits here. See, they got several different varieties of trees. That's like a cottonwood. I don't know what these are, but kind of like a mesquite. Pine trees. Let's see. Nice little tent areas. And look, they got even a, like a wash bin with the water. It's cool. So you can wash up. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. See? That's pretty cool. Nice. Huh. And there we are. And the sites are really pretty level. They're clean. And they, we have a fire pit in ours. And like these have little barbecues. And our little fire pit is like with a grill on it. That's neat. This is a nice park. People are nice. And people are in and out through here constantly. Pretty neat. There's another little cabin. People in that cabin. I saw some people titting in here last night. They left in the morning. I can't believe they're at a tent and it's down to 32. Wow. And they do have storage back here. And of course, I guess the caretakers have places to stay or owners. And it looks like they have solar for the pool. Once they get the pool going. All right. And there we are. Nice shaded in the afternoon. We don't even have to take our awning out. And for to shade it, it it's nice big tree here see I think we're going to do a fire tonight these little fire pit things Isn't that cool okay guys well just a little review of this little park you know it's not that big but um, people are great um, the area is great there's stuff on down the road in Grand Canyon and uh, Seligman has a lot of history. He really enjoy it here. So, but if you like this one, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications so you can see all our stuff. And thanks to our Patreon guys. We love ya. Thanks for helping out. And uh, you guys take it easy. Be safe.